we will learn how to download and use the pump loader software to upload software revisions to the Sapphire Infusion pump. The pump loader software is a tool used to upload the available software revisions for your region to the pump. To use the pump loader software with the Sapphire Infusion pump, you will need a computer with internet connection and the pump loader software installed on it, a Sapphire communication cable and power supply, both connected to a mini cradle fitted with a splitter. An RS-232 USB to serial adapter is needed to connect the communication cable to the computer. First step is to install the software on your computer. The software is available for you to download along with all other Sapphire PC tools on the FTP site. The access is limited to certified technicians only. Once you complete your training requirements, you will receive a username and password for the service portal, FTP site, and the different Sapphire PC tools. To learn more about how to access and use QCore's FTP site, watch the FTP overview video, which is available in the maintenance training presentation. Download the software upgrade folder from the FTP site. The folder includes the pump loader setup file and the available Sapphire software revisions for your region. Install the software, click Next to continue with the setup wizard. Read the QCore pump loader end user agreement and select the checkbox if the terms are accepted. Click Install to continue with the setup wizard. Once the installation is complete, click Finish. A dedicated pump loader folder with the pump loader software is created under C QCore bin along with all other applications for use with the Sapphire Infusion pump. Now that the software is installed, we can use the pump loader software to upload software revisions to a Sapphire Infusion pump. Before we can proceed, we need to verify which software revision can be installed on the pump by referencing the labeling and SW revisions table for QCore service providers. This document can be found in your document library in the service portal. In the document, under section 6, you can find tables which match the pump's type and reference number to the approved software revisions. Unless the current software version is obsolete and doesn't appear in this document, we generally advise to return the customer's pump with the same software revision unless otherwise requested by the customer. For example, say I have a US multi-therapy pump. Its reference number ends with 28. We can see here three software revisions which are approved for this pump. Now that we know which software revision can be uploaded to the pump, we can proceed to the uploading process itself. First, connect the power supply and communication cable to the splitter and place the pump in the mini cradle. The pump will turn on and verify that the charge LED is either steady or flashing. Connect the other end of the communication cable to the RS-232 USB to serial adapter. Connect the adapter to the computer via the USB port. Note that some operating systems will require you to download the driver for the USB port. Please contact us to obtain the driver at service at qcore.com. Open the pump loader and type in your PC tools credentials in the login window. After clicking on login, the pump loader communication port selection window opens. Select the appropriate port and press OK. The main screen of the pump loader will open. Wait for the status field to indicate that the pump is connected. Click on load to browse and find the approved software revision you wish to install in the Software Upgrade folder downloaded from the FTP. Once a file is selected, the upload process will begin automatically. Be sure to not turn off the pump or disconnect it from the computer while the upgrade is in progress. It is also recommended to disable sleep mode on the computer. The software update is completed when the message, the update was completed successfully, appears on both the computer and the pump. After the update has completed, press OK on the computer and close the pump loader. Disconnect the pump from the computer and wait for the pump startup screen to reappear. Restart the pump to verify that the software boots up successfully and, if needed, define the pump's software language under the regional settings of the pump. 
This video has covered the steps for uploading Sapphire software revisions to the Sapphire Infusion Pump using QCore's pump loader software. For more information and troubleshooting, refer to the service manual, Chapter 6, Upgrading Software Version, or contact us at service at qcore.com.